Apt Electronics is a big authorized Apple reseller. Now we have pretty much every computer configuration. We love to stock different configurations on app.com or we can order you whatever configuration you want. And a lot of our customers, because we have a lot of Mac customers, they are buying hard drives to back up their stuff. Now, most hard drives, when you first plug them in, will walk you through some kind of basic setup. Do you want to use this for Mac or PC? And you walk through that setup. Some hard drives don't have that. And you need to manually kind of use a program called Disk Utility to really set the drive up to the way you want it. All right, so here we have a Mac running 10.9. 10.10 is currently on the market, but this is going to be pretty similar. I'm plugging the, a, a brand new external hard drive into my USB port. Now, let's see what happens. Little delay here, but it's going to pop up in a second. There it is. So, here's uh, my uh, external hard drive on my desktop, and I got a message from Apple. Now, my message is basically asking me, do I want to use Time Machine? Which you might want to. So, if you get this message with your brand new hard drive, and your goal is a complete backup using Time Machine, which backs up your computer every hour automatically, you're just going to click Use as Backup and follow the instructions. It might ask you that it needs to erase the drive. If I say use as backup, look, are you sure you want to erase it? And that's because this drive I plugged in is not formatted for Apple. It's actually NTFS, and that's a file format that only Ma uh, Windows computers can read and write to. A Mac can only read. Now, I'm going to hit don't erase, and I'm going to back up here and hit cancel, and I'm going to get out of here. So right now, what if I didn't want to use this as Time Machine backup? What if I just want a nice external hard drive to manually back up my stuff? I'm going to click on Spotlight and type in D-I-S. There it is, Disk Utility. Open up Disk Utility, and now here's the program that you're really going to utilize to your benefit. Now, here we go. There's two things here. And you've got to be careful because you don't want to erase or tamper with the wrong drive. So you'll notice that I have a color orange with a USB logo on it. That means that we are looking at the USB connected drive. Underneath it is the partition called My Passport. At the bottom of our screens, you'll notice it's indicating it's Windows NT file system. That's NTFS. And that file system a Mac cannot write to. Let's look inside it real quick. So you have some stuff, user manuals and some other stuff that has been provided by Western Digital. If you want, you could drag all that stuff, throw it on your desktop in case you want to keep that stuff because we're about to erase that drive. All right. And by the way, let's say I want to save something to NTFS. Look, I can't. I get a circle with an X kind of dash crossed over it, which means I, I can't save to NTFS. So let's make this drive work. I simply click the top section, which is referencing the whole drive, not the partition. I click on this. I'm going to click Partition. Now I want one partition. You'll notice you can make many, so you can split this up however way you want. I'm going to say one partition. I'm going to go to options. I want to make this only for my Macs. It's a Mac only drive, go with GUID. If you're going to do a drive that you want to work with Mac and PC, stick with master boot record. So let's say I want it only for Mac. I choose GUID, I hit OK, I give it a name up here. I'm going to call it Backup. And now, choose your partition. I would stick with Mac OS Extended Journaled. This partition is pretty standard for all new Macs. Stick with that as your best way to go. Then click Apply. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but if I click Apply, it would literally take maybe a minute. And next thing you know, this little box will disappear. And then it comes back, and it's going to say the word Backup. And we're all done. And that's it. Close the program and move on. But what if you want the drive to work with Mac or Windows? Then, here you go. Here's the new one, XFAT. XFAT is fully read and writable on your Windows machine or your Mac. Choose XFAT, and I would go back into your options and go to Master Boot Record, and that's it. Click Apply. Again, it'll take like a minute, not even, and then you're good to go. I'll just point out that MS-DOS FAT, the original FAT format, that's like a flash drive, but be cautious, because FAT cannot accommodate really large files. So if I have a 20 gigabyte file, not going to save on FAT. XFAT can accommodate pretty much anything, same as Mac OS Extended. So just to kind of bring closure, I'm going to say XFAT I chose on Master Boot Record so I can freely go back and forth from Mac to PC. And here it goes. Apply Partition. Done. Right away the Mac's like, hey, do you want to use this new hard drive called Backup to activate Time Machine? I'll decide later. 
but I could do it now if I want to. And then I can take all this stuff and I'm going to put it back inside the backup. Copy all that data that came with the drive and that'll be sitting inside there now. So that's pretty much all you have to do is that, that little uh, disk utility program to go ahead and format any of your hard drives. So as you can see, it's not that hard to use disk utility, which for some does look a little intimidating, but it's pretty simple to use to go ahead and take any old hard drive and make sure it works for a Mac exactly how you want. Apt.com not only has a whole bunch of Apple products, but we've got a lot of computer accessories. Check us out and let's hear some comments. When was your last backup?